these, oh my God, I don't care about those. What is that? Okay, well we are here in Walkersville, Maryland, and we're about to head into this Goodwill to see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Okay, well it is like four o'clock in the evening. There is nobody in the parking lot, and I thought that maybe they were closed, but I think they're open. So we're gonna, we're gonna go see. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that this is just hanging out here. I believe this is made in Austria. Um, and there's not a whole lot of damage to it. $4.49. Is that a chip or is it supposed to have an underplate? I can't remember. There's no markings on the end. Usually it says hander bite for handmade. <laughs> but it's a tea light, I think. Although that makes me think that they're supposed to be like a... I don't know. I'm really excited about this. I'm just gonna just, just stick it in here and keep going. I was a little bit worried that since I got here late, I wouldn't be finding much, but that's a great way to start off the shopping experience. I don't see any more of those little houses, unfortunately. Well, I already see a few things that have me excited. First of all, this is really fun. I feel like that's like a craft thing. $3.50, that's like all sorts of funness, but I don't think there's a whole lot of resale value there. Lots of fun. I don't think a lot of resale value. This is a John Perry sculpture with seagulls. Only $5.50 on that. I feel like it's worth more than that even though it's just the seagulls. The seagulls are kind of one of the more common ones. Um, we'll grab the seagulls. What else do we have here? This is a sculpture. I think those are cast pewter, but I don't know. What else do we have? This is fun. This is a hobbyist piece. Check out this hound dog. He is very sad and very heavy and he is a bank. Oh gosh, I can't even lift him. I'm scared to lift him one-handed because I don't want to break him. There we go. I got a good grip. $5.50. Oh, he's made out of chalkware. Um, you know what? I might pick him up. My friend Donna um, from Moondoggy Coffee is um, is back to accepting donations for the Basset Hound Rescue. So that might be a good, uh, a good piece to send to her for her auctions because she raises money for Basset Hounds. And I think, I think he's a Basset Hound. He certainly looks like a Basset Hound. I really like this mug. This is Bell Mason, made in China. Happiness. I just think it's sweet. Don't know what the resale value on that would be, though. What is this thing? That is a bottle with a very large cork. It's kind of over overcompensating a bit, I'd say. I don't think the cork needs to be that big. I kind of like this. CR. $4.95. I don't know if that's April 1995. It's very colorful and pretty. Um, it's a little bit large for my gallery wall though. I don't think it would fit. Otherwise, I'd snatch it up. I need some smaller pieces for my gallery wall. I kind of uh, stuck too many larger pieces there. Rise and shine. Today is a good day. That's like completely the opposite of what my shirt says. I wonder if that's one of those paintings where if you stare at it and like cross your eyes, it becomes something else. I remember those from when I was a kid. They were really popular and you just like had to stare at it until like your eyes burned and then it became the image of something. What is that? That looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Is it broken? What is wrong with it? There is nothing wrong with it. It is mine. I will cradle it and take it home with me. What is it? <laughs> I probably should know what it is. I'm gonna take it home with me. It just says Adderley on the bottom. But it's not like Royal Adderley, it's Adderley-E. <laughs> I like it. That one looks like it could be Czech, is it? Oh, it's Austria. I get it. It's cute. It's a buck fifty. Oh, it even has that. Now it's even better. We turned it around. It has flowers on it. It's even better than it was before. <laughs> I mean, it's probably worth like eight to twelve bucks. I, I think I'm gonna leave it, but it is very sweet. I 
I like the looks of this guy in the back, so I'm gonna try to get him out. There we go. Isn't he neat? Oh, he's contemporary, but goodness gracious. You stick a plant in his head and suddenly he's got really wacky hair. <laughs> I don't think he's supposed to be a canister. I think he is a flower pot. Um, and I think I'm gonna grab him. He could be a good booth piece, or I could probably list him as a buy it now on eBay. What is this? $3.50. Looks like it has the Mayan calendar or something on it. The yeah, ancient artifact. Here are some sweet little gnomes that somebody painted. A few waffle style shades. I like the looks of this candlestick holder. It says home goods on the bottom. What is this? <laughs> There's a foil sticker on there. He's kind of fun. He's kind of goofy looking. I might try to Google image search him, but um, my signal here, at, well, at any Goodwill really, is so hit or miss because it's the tin ceilings. I feel like he's contemporary, but that foil sticker is so worn out on the bottom, it makes me think like he could be vintage. Check out these cool blacks. They've got birds on them. I think those are home call, right? Definitely vintage. Sweet, we will just stick those right in there. Ooh, very carefully. Those are neat. Not much in the vases. Hmm. That's kind of, oh, look at the bottom on that. That could be Cameron County clay products. $3.49. What is that in the back? Oh. What is that in the back? That is Eldrith. <laughs> it's Eldrith, but we do have a crack. Are we forgiving the crack? How bad is the crack? Can you see it? Uh, I can only see it there on the bottom. I don't see how far it goes up the side. It's so funny, you know what? I spotted that on the other side and I'm like, is that Aldrith or is that one of those like wants to be folk art pieces? No, it's definitely Aldrith, I think. I think it's a planner. This is my third piece of Aldrith in Maryland. I'll take it. Yes, please and thank you. And I think I'm gonna take this too. And the reason I'm gonna take this is because I really like the color. Um, I'm a fan of that mustard yellow. Yeah, $3.49 on that. That is interesting. Oh, there is a mark on there. What does it say? Oh boy, I don't know. It says end. Does it say end? No, it doesn't. Maybe it does. I have no idea. They signed it. They stamped it. Should be able to make it out, but I just can't read. I also like the finish on that. Hmm, kind of interesting, $4.50, I don't know, it's kind of like a mid-century marking. Okay, so here is the wood section. I love these boxes, but I know they don't have like a terribly high resale value. I'm just, a, I'm always attracted to them for some reason. I remember my mom used to have one when I was a kid, and maybe that's why it's just like a nostalgia thing. A very dapper gentleman and a lady up here. We have to check the clocks because someday I'm gonna check the clocks and I'm gonna find a beautiful mid century modern starburst clock. But today is not that day. Here we are in baggies. <laughs> this little guy's like, let me out. <laughs> He's got company though. He shouldn't be that sad to be trapped in there. I see Tigger down there. Some nice florals. A couple puppy dogs in that bag. Here are some Santa Claus. Those are plastic. A bag. Oh my gosh. A bag of smiley faces. I keep finding bags of smiley faces.
There is a Cinderella mixing bowl for $8.49. And it's in decent condition. Not a lot of dishwasher damage, so I may stick that in here. I'm sensing a theme in our car. It's like yellow and brown and <laughs> it's looking good. I kind of skipped over this section. Um, I don't see any other Cinderella mixing bowls. It would be nice if there was a set, but I'm only seeing the one. So I am on the back side of the shelves and I was just noticing these glasses. Starlight glasses. There's only a set of three of them. How much do they want? 150 each. Eh, I'll be able to get a little bit of money out of my booth for those. We'll just snatch those through the shelf. I mean, if we're gonna have long arms, we might as well use them, right? There we go. And uh, I'll circle around and see if maybe um, there is another one lurking, but I think that we're just gonna find the three. All right, well, I do not see a fourth. I think there are just three. These are kind of neat though, look at these. Those have some age and they are etched. A buck 50 each. I do like those, those are just a set of three too. That's probably why they were donated. But um, I think on that note, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, well, I don't recall my total spend there at Walkersville. I will have to put it up here for you. Um, but I have moved on now, and I am in Fairmont, Maryland. And we're about to head in here and see what we can find to buy and look for a profit. Here we go. Okay, well, I am going to start here in the knickknacks, my favorite spot. I'm a little bummed about this kangaroo, I'm not going to lie. My eye went straight for it, but you can see that we're missing ears and a tail and all the things, so that's a little disappointing. That little bunny is adorable. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we have. Here's a Boyd's bunny bear. <laughs> $8.50. Oh goodness, here is a kitty. That looks like Avon perfume. Um, what is this? Is this Vilroy? It is! This is uh, the second time I've found Vilroy in Bach today. That's crazy. I don't usually find it that often. Um, this is the Naif Christmas, I think? Or is this just Naif? No, this is just Naif, not Naif Christmas. <laughs> but, um, we're gonna grab that. That's great. A buck fifty. I'll take that. I was actually noticing that Mama Bunny is still here. I don't see her baby though, so it must be the baby got picked up. That's pretty. I wonder if that's Turkish. Maybe Greece? I don't know. It does have some damage though. I think that one's missing the lid entirely. That is super cool. Version 479. Definitely has a vintage look to it. I think I'm gonna try to encourage Juliet to get into furniture, re furniture, not furniture, furniture refinishing because I think that would be really fun for her to uh, figure out. And you know, I, I think she could be really good at it if she starts at a young age. So I'm gonna encourage her to maybe give that a try with her newfound artistic passion. Look at this guy, four dollars and fifty cents. Um, he is a dresser caddy, I believe. Now these aren't worth a lot of money. Like you would think it's vintage, it's cool, it's pottery. But they're not worth a ton. I can't remember exactly how much. But I know they're worth less than you would expect them to be. Um, so I'm going to... I'm going to look it up real quick. So if you look here, these, these are all uh, what people are asking for them, so you have one listing, someone's asking 60, um, somebody's asking 40, these are all asking prices, but what we want to do is we actually want to toggle these over to sold. We want to see what they're actually selling for, and we're going to scroll down. Um, so here is a set of two. I didn't realize there was a tiny one that went with it, but I guess that one, if that set, sold for 27. Oh, my signal here isn't the best. So it looks like it sells for like 10 to 16. You've got some that are selling for five. So believe it or not, this poor little guy doesn't sell for very much. So, so these are the sold. This is what they sell for. 
Now we're not looking at what people are asking, we're looking at what they actually sell for. And unfortunately, they're asking $5 for it. So um, I think I'm going to leave him behind, even though he's really cute and we would expect that he would do a lot better. We're gonna, we're gonna leave him here. I do wish that we had a lid for this. $4.50. Lidless canister. It's not gonna do me very much good. There is an oil light. Hmm. I like the snowflakes on this little creamer. There's a chip. Well, there's quite a few chips. As you can see, there's a little chip, but it's chipped on the other side too, so that's a bummer. I'll leave that one behind. Down here is an older looking bottle. What is that marked? So this is a sauce bottle. Ask me how I know that this is a sauce bottle. Can it balance? There? It's going to balance right there. We're going to leave it there to balance. Well, this is my favorite shelf right here and I'm really not seeing much on my favorite shelf. I'm a little bummed out. I was hoping this would be where everything is at. But not so much. Um, <laughs> there's a few things that that are cute, but I mean, we've got Avon. I showed that last time we were here. Kind of like the violets on those, but those are transfer wear. I think that's supposed to be like a vanity set with a perfume or like a vanity bottle. Snack set, but unfortunately, those don't really go for much. What is this down here? Is that Taylor Smith and Taylor? I'm not sure. If I had to guess, that's what I would guess. I like the pattern on that. It's a pretty pattern. What are those? Those are hand painted. They've got some age too. There's a pair of them. $2.50. I don't know anything about these except that they have some age and that those are hand painted designs. I like a mystery. Pyrex. Flamingo. Look at the edge of those plates, though. Oh. Darn it. <laughs> this, this is my. This is always my debate with Pyrex. Are they too far gone? I don't know. And then half the people in the comments are like, "Those are fine. You should buy them. You could have made money." And then the other half are like, those are too far gone, Jocelyn. So I just like, I have this love-hate relationship with Pyrex. Personally, I, I feel like these are too far gone. And I think that I'm going to go with my gut on these. I also have a, a huge stack of these in my garage at my house that Jess and Jesse are living in now. And they are in pristine condition. So if I'm going to sell any at all, I'm going to sell those ones. And I know that those ones have the gold border, beautiful pink, they are pristine. So we're gonna leave these wretched ones behind and we're gonna keep going. I thought as I was coming down the aisle that these, oh my God, I don't care about those. What is that? Do you see that? You see that, right? Wait, wait a moment. Do you see it? I'm not talking about the bowl on top. Let's see. What is underneath that? Oh my god. 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 Is that what I think it is? I think that is what I think it is. I think that's what I think it is. Right? Please tell me it is. Or am I freaking out for no reason? I think I'm freaking out for no reason. I don't think. Is that what I think it is? I don't think it is. <laughs> They're not always signed, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, I think that's a false alarm. That's a really good false alarm though. I had a moment, I had a really good moment. We shared that moment together. <laughs> and now I can go home. All right, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave them in there. I'm gonna take them home with me. I'll, I'll think about them some more later. I think they might be fire and light, but I don't know. They're just, they're, they're really thin. And all the fire and light I've always, you know, they're usually thick. They're usually pretty thick. So, I don't know, maybe that's that new, new, uh, thin version of fire and light. Maybe that's what that is. <laughs> these are really cool. I like these pineapple bowls, but I don't know. 
think about those. Those are neat. I'm used to seeing these apple ones. So I think that's why I'm attracted to the pineapple ones because I haven't seen those ones before. Look at this. I was so excited that I was like squeezing my hand and I literally impaled my hand with my nail. <laughs> Hope for some pleats that aren't even what I thought they were. Goodness gracious, Jocelyn, get a grip. Like, not literally. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's been a long day. All right, I don't really see much else here. I mean, I see a few things. I think that bowl goes with those plates, but the bowl is really not as exciting as those plates. This, what is this? Jamestown China. The pattern on that kind of looks like the knife pattern that I just set in there. That's why I had to check that out. There's a chrome lid to a cake plate. Those probably actually go together. So I'm kind of curious what price they have on these shoes. $4.50. These are 20 to 20. They actually have the size on here. So if you were wanting to wear these, um, you could get them in your size. <laughs> I left this last week because I thought it was just like a weird like vase vessel with a handle on it. And I was just walking by it and I realized that it is a person. It still has a giant chip out of it, but I was walking by and I'm like, wait a second, that is a person with eyes and a nose and their hands over their mouth. And that is a bejeweled ginger thing. What is this? Paragon. Hmm. Hey, some of those can be worth money, right? Paragon? I don't think so. Paragon Bone China. I'll tell you who would know is Cat the Nurse Flipper. She did a whole video on teacups. It's only $3.50, we'll grab it. Okay, well I started digging a little bit because the teacups caught my eye and I noticed this, $6.50. The bottom is stamped Francoma on the bottom. I like the blue glaze on that. So I noticed this. It's Montaju is the name of the um, maker on the bottom of the teacup. So I'm gonna try to look that one up. And um, we're gonna stick this in the cart. All right, well, it helps if I spell it right, but it's Mon Bijou, Bavaria. And um, I don't know, I don't really see much, so I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna leave it, I don't need it. Um, I did wanna look at that. What is that mug right there? Is it Death Wish Coffee? No, it's the Maryland, Ren the Maryland, the Maryland Renaissance Fair. Okay, and this one right here is a good luck mug. All right. Well, that was a good experience here at Thermont. Um, I have some like emotional whiplash from that whole fire and light situation, and I'm still not sure if what I found was fire and light. It had the right color. The color was right, and I think that's why I freaked out as much as I did, is because the color was right. The weight and the thinness was wrong so i'm not really sure i'll have to read some of your comments and let you guys weigh in a little bit on this and and maybe i'll post it in the group i don't know i'll do a little bit of research and maybe it is fire and light maybe it was not all in vain i was really excited about it anyway i mean the, the experience was good it was a good experience i got really excited i had a moment we all did together <laughs> um but i'm gonna get out of here now i'm going to head home but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you Nothing new, but it's so good to see.